my inventions that I'm uh, marketing. Call them whatever you want. Rocking tables, chi sao rocking tables, whatever you want to do. Training tables that rock. That's what we do. Now, one of the things that we do on this are our basic drills. Obviously, you're going to be moving all over the place. It's pretty slippery here. Okay, so we'll do punching and pocking off of these. Okay, it teaches you how not to lean. Okay, you can get into lop. You can do all you see that. Whoa, whoa. See that? The idea is to try and stay on it. The way you stay on this is by keeping your table level. That's all you have to do. It evolves into chi sao. See that? Evolves into chi sao. Notice this table's all over the place. <laughs> so that, that, that is always the basic tenet with this, is just keep your table flat so that you can operate on it. My table rocks if I want it to, but it's getting it to not rock. Okay? Okay? Now, that's forwards and backwards. And you can get into it like this. This is a little bit more challenging because you can't lean. If you lean, you're going to fall. See that? Very dangerous position to be in. See, so this is just affecting your root. Just teaches you how to work your root. Teaches you how to move your body. Okay? It's teaching you how to do linkage. Now the idea, of course, is when you're doing this, you got to maintain your structure. Maintain your structure. If you start going all out, you're collapsing, you're caving in. See, now I let go so that he can fall and realize that he's leaning. See, he's leaning. See? Or he's going to fall off backwards. Just depends on how you receive it. Now I feel a big hole here. So I'm going to penetrate it. Yeah. But now I, I have two of them I got to keep. I got this one and this one. This one and this one. I have two, two things now I got to work on to keep level. Now when you get used to this, can you imagine just what it's like being on a regular floor? change it like this. This is real interesting. You can also keep, keep one rocking one way and one the other way. Back it up. See, what happens is when you anticipate, you're going to lean. When you're anticipating that guy's energy, especially if it's a little stronger than yours, you're going to lean. Why do you lean? Be because you, you don't have the root to compensate. The only thing you can compensate with is 
the weight of your body by leaning. This will teach you how to understand root quicker. I have to remain in the, in the center, otherwise I'm always going to be forward or back. But, but you notice it's all free-floating, okay? I'm not screwed on there or anything, okay? Now, what this develops is hip power, developing hip. One of the things you can do when you get the chi sow is you chi sow off of stools. So you have a stool set up, and then you do chi sow from the stools. This way you can't use your legs for root, you have to use your hip. Okay, so it teaches another dynamic. All these are tools that you can use for enhancing your training. So this is the nicest way to do it. Enhances your root very quickly. And it's a very beautiful world. All right, good. Give him a round of applause. There's forward energy involved. How are you going to develop forward energy if you're not applying forward energy? So, what's stopping my forward energy? His shape. So when you're, every time you roll, there's forward energy. I let go. Why? Because he was leaning. I could feel it. I let go so that they can feel that they are leaning. I want them to know it. Because eventually what will happen is they'll recognize the feeling of the lean. If you don't let them recognize that feeling, they're not going to know they're doing a bad habit. This is Wing Chun. Here, we're over here like this. Boom! That's Wing Chun. Okay? Palm strikes. That's Wing Chun. Palm strikes. Anything straight is Wing Chun. Straight and controlling. If you're going around going like this, you just opened yourself up. When you do Wing Chun, boom, you do Wing Chun, boom, you do Wing Chun. Forget the smacking, they're straight attacks. If you do a technique in Wing Chun and that person is not in check when you do it, it is not a correct technique. So, in check means they're trapped in some fashion, in some fashion. They're trapped. So if I'm rolling, I do pak da. They are checked somehow. I got a hand here. I got a hand here. It's checked. I don't have to worry about it. It gives me the clean shot. That is what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in just bringing my hand up just to play tag. We're not playing tag. We're playing Wing Chun. We're playing real technique, not smacking. Smacking is what you do in the playground. So if you're smacking each other in chi sao, you're not doing chi sao. You're playing in the playground. 